This conference will now be recorded. Okay, guys, uh, we will start our session now. So today we will start with the primitive data types. So tell me what do you understand about uh, primitive data types? So anyone, can you please tell me what do you understand in the demo session? What do you understand about the primitive data types? It's like a string or null array. Okay. So it is like yeah. it a single data the, type. Yes, exactly. So it will store only the single data type values. So either it is an integer or a float or boolean or string it will store those data types only so we can't uh, store integer with the float like that okay so that is called primitive data type so we will start from that okay today and uh, before that we will download our tools which are needed for us now so i already having the tool so i will tell you now you can uh, side by side you, you just please download that one okay first sorry let me share my screen Am I sharing my screen? Yep. Yes. So first we will download our Python. So this is important. Then only we can uh, do our Python. Okay. So this is Python original website from here. This one downloads. So I have Windows. So I just downloaded this one. If you have a Linux, Mac or other OS, you can try these ones. Okay. So just click on this one. So press this one. Please download this one first. So don't install now. After completing, someone please share your screen. I will tell you how to install this one. Okay. So first download this one. And next, Visual Studio Code. So, our ID will be Visual Studio Code, okay? So, this one we will download. So, here the same. I have Windows. So, if you have Linux or Mac OS, you can download that one. That is a stable version. So, Windows, please download this one. So, after finishing, please uh, someone share your screen. Let's start the installation. So the download is finished guys. Yes. Oh, okay, Rahul, please uh, share your screen so that I can show them how to install that one. Um, it's tabled here for me. So. I can't share the screen, it's disabled for me to share the screen. Oh, okay. Just a minute, I will check it here. You have to make me the presenter. Actually, there is nothing like that here. Okay, fine. So, someone for you, everyone, uh, the same is happening. Okay, now try that one, uh, Rahul. Now, can you able to share your screen? No, it's still grayed out. Ask organizer to make you presenter, it says. But I didn't log that one. Let me check once again. In 
Visual Studio is pretty straightforward to install. Okay, Python. please try to install that one, Rahul. Okay, first, first install Python. Okay. Okay. So first, click that one. Install Python. When you are trying to install, there will be in the first page, you will see like add path. Okay. Yes. Please mm -hmm. click that box, and then install. Okay. So for everyone, in the first page itself, you will know that add path. So please click that one. and then do your installation for python fine so share i'm just checking how to share the screen okay for others i didn't log this one so i'm just checking this one Okay, I will share the screen now. So let me check. Okay, so Python download this one. So you need to click this one. So I'm just clicking this one. The download will be completed here. So here I'm going to click this one. So for me, it is saying that uh, modify, repair. or uninstall okay so i'm not going to do this one so for you you will get a screen here and here the, it will say add path so ragul did you find that one ragul yes, so uh, jayanta janu and Nar narsimha so it says install now or customize okay. installation and then below there are two check boxes to check one is use admin privileges and add path to exe yes add path you have to give add path and install that one after finishing just go to your cmd that is command prompt here check like okay. python version okay so see this one should come here this is the latest version now so see so we are using 3.12.3 now before that python 2 was there but that is deprecated now because due to the syntax so python 2 is not familiar like python 3 because of the syntax it has complex syntax but python 3 we are using now in the first first class itself you have seen right so how how easy to learn it is so now python 3 is popular than python 2 so no one is using python 2 now so if you got this one then you have successfully install your python in your system so everyone is getting this one right yep now it says uh, set up successful disable path length limit or just close just close one okay. so close and check in your uh, command prompt just check the python version You share the screen with the command, please. Command Which prompt. Screen? The yes. command prompt. Yep. Okay. So this is the command for checking the Python version. Python, this one and version. So you have to check like this. Um. There's. Python was not found. Run without argument to install the Microsoft Store. Python is not found, 
so that is not installed properly in your system so give me a second i will check your system now just a minute There is no such thing here for uh, sharing any uh, control to anyone. Uh. Um. So let let's do one thing, Raghul. Please, uh, uh, I mean, remove that. I mean, delete your older version, and please uh, do it again. But if I go in all programs, there is Python. Python there three is? point. Yeah, I see it, um, and it opens in a command prompt kind of screen as well. And it now it is working but not on my command prompt so maybe the directory is not correct but we see, can move have on you given this command exactly see double slash inversion yes it's not working but it should say like python uh, 3.12 actually so that is the command you should say okay let's check with the visual studio code okay just download your visual studio code also yeah, done. For uh, someone also, yeah, here, your message. If I run without arguments to install from the Microsoft Store or disable the shortcut from. Which OS you are using, uh, Rahul? Windows 10 Pro. Windows 10, okay. So it should work, right? Yeah. So it is saying um, Python was not found. Run a Python version without arguments to install from the Microsoft Store or disable the shortcut from settings. Manage app. Okay. Okay. Let's check this one with the. You have installed this one, right? In the downloads. Yes. So this is what I get in the Python. Um, I cannot even send a screenshot in this uh, message. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also new to this go, go to app. So I'm just checking this one. Okay. Let's see. Fine. Okay. Install your. Uh, Visual Studio Code also. Yeah, that is done. That is done. Okay. Yeah. So, let me check in the control panel. So, can you see your uh, Python here? In your control panel programs and features can you find this one so if it is installed means it should come here what about what about others everyone is getting the same issue so I have it installed so it's it's there so it is there yeah it's just probably a okay. different directory path that it can't find okay Okay, fine. So, what about others? Jayanta, Narasimha, NK. For you, the same issue or what? Okay, fine. So, open your uh, Visual Studio, Raghul. So, here, yep. so we can check with the small program, okay? So, okay. open a folder. I'm just going to open a folder in my desktop, like like a Python session. Select folder. So that folder will come for me here. OK. So yeah. I'm just trusting the author. Mm -hmm. So here, my Python session is there. So I can open my new file inside this folder. So everything, what are the file I'm creating here will be uh, 
it will be saved in this folder in my desktop now okay so okay. you can have a demo dot py file so is this file is open for you Ra rahul and others yes. okay so just type print or oh, before this so some things we need to add here okay extensions go to this extension and type python so install this one install this one python debugger install okay. this one and install this one okay these four things please install in your uh, visual studio code this is called plugins okay so visual studio is common for uh, all languages like java python c c++ and web development so we can do everything in single ide so only you, what you have to do is you have to plug in those which you want so now we are going to use visual studio for our python so we have to have the python debugger extension pack and environment management for python so please plug in this one after installing tell me we need to have some more one so we need to get this one right for run code for that just uh, click code runner code runners this one so install this one got it so finished yep okay so now come come to this one so print 100 if it is not done means no problem uh, i will send you a video later after the session i will send you a video so don't worry about the installation now fine uh, hello man. So for me yes yeah sorry to interrupt uh, is there any minimum requirement uh, for python to get installed like i do have windows 8 in my machine windows 8 yeah okay windows 10 like that it is there so it is for windows so just go here and check for your version it is for windows only you can just add it here no problem what what uh I mean, no, no, my question is, my, my question, ma'am, I do have Windows 8 in my machine. Okay, so, it, so does here, it, it is there least... like Windows 7 or earlier can be used. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Not... Now I can see it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So, you yeah. have a requirement here. This version is used for this, like that. So, check here. So, check for your previous versions, okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, then, thank you. Okay. So, Coming to this one, uh, for others, did you get this one? Have you installed properly? So I got it running Python minus U and then the session demo dot I exited with code zero in seconds. So you got the output or not? Yes. You got the output, right? So. You, you got uh, your uh, Python successfully installed your system now. Okay. So for others, I will just send you a video from YouTube. Okay. For your uh, for your understanding, I will send a uh, video in YouTube. Okay. After the session, I share you some videos. So don't worry about that. We can do that. So now today we are going to see about variables. So primitive data types. So for that, we need some variables, right? So for python file i should use dot py so the python symbol is here so just remember that one i'm just doing this one so tell me what is variable guys what is actually a variable it's a single thing um um, it's it's a parameter where we can store uh, different values yes so we can say like a container okay so it's it acts like a container where we can store some values so we can say that it will behave like what kind of value it holding 
okay we can simply say like if i am creating a age as my variable age equal to and i am giving 21 okay so age equal to 21 so age is my variable and how it will behave now with numbers yes what is number in uh, programming language integer right data type integer data type so the variable will behave like what kind of data type it is holding if age is equal to 21 means it's a whole number so then it will act like a integer value if age equal to 23.5 means what it will act how it will act as a float yes float so it will act like a float variable and if i give name equal to python means then how it will act so python it's considered as a string right a series of characters string is nothing but a series of character so python is a string now so it will act like a string variable and if i say uh, human equal to true means then true or false will be considered as a boolean data type then it will be act like a boolean variable okay so like that it will behave what kind of data it is holding okay so let me tell you here variable so a container for storing values it behaves like or we can say it behaves as the value it contains fine so i can first start with the string string a series of character Now oh, coming to this point. So now I am going to create name. So Python. So name Python. So here this is my variable. See it is showing variable name. Okay. So name is a what kind of variable now? String variable because it containing the string value okay so now it will behave like a string variable so anything that is inside the single or double quotation will be considered as a string okay remember this one anything comes inside the single or double quotation will be considered as string in python okay and one more thing if you give here 21 40 like that numbers means inside the quotation means that will also be consider as a string so i will tell you that one in the next uh, topic so this this is called string so anything which is comes inside a single or double quotation will be consider as a string so remember this point i'm i need to print this one so print name so i'm going to run this one run python 5 so i got python now fine so this one for this i can use a print statement like print hello so i can say plus name so now what will be the output what will be our output be the name python hello python yes hello python so see hello python but here we can see this one right we didn't get any space so we need to give some space also i will tell you how we can provide space here 
I am taking like name 1 equal to hi. And then I am giving like uh, name 2 equal to python. And then what I am going to do is I will simply type this full name. Full name equal to first underscore name. Second underscore name. Then print full name. I can uh, use my print statement like this also. Okay. So I can uh, just simply give some name and ask, ask that to print here. And I can also give print hello name uh, some strings inside this one and I can represent my variable like this or else I can do like this. This is called concatenation. Okay. This is uh, concatenation is nothing but joining two or more strings together. Okay. So I have two string now. So one is name one and name two. So I'm just trying to merge these two together. So that is called concatenation. Okay. So you should remember this one concatenation. So this one as a full name will be considered as a concatenation value. So see name first name. What is that first name? Oh sorry. Name one name two. I just given name one name two. So if you give something means this is called name error guys note this one so we i just uh, had two variables in different name and i tried to make it as a first name and second name here so i got a name error because that name is not visible here that is that is not found here so now i am running this one and check see hi python so again i need some uh, space here so for that what i'm going to do is print name 1 plus this one. So here I inside this uh, quotation I need to give some space. Okay. Then only the space will be provided here. So name 2. Fine. So here I will run this program. See now I got this one. So without space here let me check. So again this one. So this space is important. Fine. So then only you can you will get the space here. So we have three types of print statement now. So first we have our variable here. So we just gave some value here and printed here. And then we just added some sentence here with our variable. And in the next term we just do, done some concatenation. Name 1, name 2, full name. And we gave some space also in our print statement. Okay. These types we can use this one. Coming to variable. Just hold on here. I We have certain rules for this. I will tell you one by one. Okay. So this is for string. So you know string is a series of character. So this is what a string will be. Anything inside the uh, double or single quotation will be consider as a string so remember this one and we will go with integer so what is integer guys it's a whole number without any decimal point yes so it's a whole number without any decimal points so it can be either a positive or negative value too okay so let me tell you age so age equal to 21 and I will say like age equal to age plus 1. So what, what is this term? Why I am saying age plus 1? So I am telling this to increment the age by 1. Okay. So here I will print like print h print h so I will check this one so my value is 22 
because I gave here h equal to h plus 1. But it looks a uh, little difficult, right? So, instead of this one, we can use a shortcut. Okay, so we don't need to, this is, this is telling like h equal to h plus 1. So, the h should increment by 1 when you are printing the variable. But we don't need this one because this looks a uh, little difficult. So, we can use a shortcut for this. Okay, that is nothing but h plus or equal to 1. Okay, so this is also the same meaning like 22. Okay, so you instead of this com complicated thing, you can use this one. Okay, age equal to 21, but actual age is 21. I need to increment it by 1. So, I need to print that 1. So, the last value will be considered as the value for this age variable and it will be printed here. Okay. So, the next one, we can say like uh, h equal to, sorry, h1, I can say like h1 equal to, because h already there, if you give again the h means, it will be confused with which h it should take. So, I am just marking it as this one. So, I am giving this one. Okay. So, h plus equal to 1 print h. So, is this possible now guys? Is this possible? Uh, yes, I believe so. It is possible. Sorry, this one. You are saying it is possible, right? Let me check this one. So, I will let me run this one and check what is the value. And it is saying 23. Right. See, type error. Can only concat string to string. So, I told you, right, anything inside this single or double quotation will be considered as a string. So, this is a string now. So, you can't increment it. And also, it should be added with a string value only. Okay. So, you have doubt in this, right? Let me check this one. How it is a string variable? So, let me check here the type. Type of this one we already saw in the last class, right? So, type. I am just checking the type of this one. See, class integer. So, it says the class integer now because it is age. Age 1. I have choose the age 1 now. So, see, class string. Okay, because I told you anything inside a double quotation or single quotation will be considered only as a string. Even though if you give number inside this one will be also considered as a string now. Okay, you have to remember this one. And the next one will be like uh, H. Here I will tell you like in what are the ways we can use this integer. Okay. So, H. The, again, H should increment it by 1. And then I can uh, say like print. And I am going to say like your ages and then plus age. So, let me run this one. So, again it is saying this one. Can only concat string to string. So, here your ages, the statement will be as a string now because it is inside the double quotation and age what is the value of age age 2 will be like an integer value so it is not possible now so it is also a type error so you can't concatenate string with the integer value so for this what we have to do is so I will just copy the statement
so i am going to change my uh, integer value to a string variable okay because uh, this is called type casting guys so string of don't worry we will have a separate thing after the session we will have a separate one for uh, type casting also so see this one so if you say like this means then the age two will be considered as a string now if i put a float means then the variable will be considered as a float this is called type casting i done type casting here so with this we we can concatenate string to a integer value so the integer will be now what i mean what will be the integer now so it is a string now right let me check print type of h 2 let me check run so here it is actually the original one is integer but inside this print statement it is a string okay so here only we are concatenating only in the print statement not this one okay so in the print statement for the answer we are So type casting this one into the string okay integer into string one okay this is called type casting converting one type into another that is called type casting converting one type into another okay so this is called type casting so we we did it here so the same way we are going to see about the float so we already finished with integer any doubt in this guys we finish with string we finished with integer any doubt in this anyone yeah ma'am i do have a doubt yes please yeah ma'am on line number 31 right um yes I for, for it seems like we, we are not concatenating concatenating one string and an integer right it we, we were just printing the things inside the print function yes. right so there itself it will not work yeah it didn't to... work in the in the 30th line 31 31 ma'am 31 31 before that yeah. we did 30 line okay in the 30 okay. line we normally type like your ages plus age 2 okay so that time uh -huh. what it says is you have a type error so we okay. can concatenate string to i mean we can concatenate string to string it is not possible to concatenate string to integer then only okay. we did this type casting so let me show you that one again so for that only we 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 just uh, took type casting here see can you see this one your yeah, yeah, ages plus age two so can only concat string to integer i mean string not integer so in this statement itself we got the error type error then only we we go for the type casting we just try to change the integer to string now okay so just uh, yeah yeah got it ma'am yeah yeah so then only we go on for the type casting here okay so the in the the age two is still the integer only in the print statement we have done the type casting okay not changing the whole type as a integer i mean as a string type only printing time it will be like a string okay so for for concatenating these two things that's why we 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 go for a type casting fine any doubt are you clear with this clear ma'am okay fine so anyone having any doubt in this are you clear with the uh, string and uh, have you clear with integer come on tell me everything is okay right can we move on to the next topic yes yes please okay fine so the next one will be the float so what is float
what is float guys uh, uh, it, it it can be positive or negative with 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 the decimal number uh, integer yes. with the def not an integer yes. sorry with with the decimal yeah. yes so it can be yeah. positive or negative with the decimal point so i will say height so height equal to 250.5 okay so this is a floating point now because i'm using this decimal point so this height will be height is my floating point variable so it will behaves like a float okay because it is it is having a floating point value so it will behave like a floating point data type okay so coming to this one we can simply print height so let me run this so 250.25 it is printed then i will check so i told you python is very intelligent with its finding data types so let me check how it is choosing this one so it is taking as a class float so before this so when you notice this one for all the thing i didn't we didn't mention that a string uh, data type value here we didn't mention that it is a integer we didn't mention it as a float but it is considering that as a integer float and everything okay so python is very intelligent in this so we don't need to separately give a float uh, i mean a data type we don't need to address that one in front of the values fine i mean in front of the variables your height is i can say your height is this one so i will say plus i this one you are going to help me guys okay plus centimeter i need some centimeter okay so i am going to print this one so it is saying the again not with float it can be done with the string only so how we can change this one now can anyone help me with this so anyone please help me with this so we are getting a type error here you are there right yeah yeah i believe before height we need to write a float and keep float? the height in bracket we need to actually height is already a float right oh sorry sorry yeah it it has to be str str yes yes correct yeah. yes string okay yeah, so yeah, it correct, should be yeah. string now okay let let us run this one okay so let me run this one so run python so again it is saying this one name error what is that name error name centimeter is not defined why it is saying like that because we need to give this inside the string okay because it looks like a string right so running this one see your height is 250.5 cm so you can't if you are giving any uh, string like this means it should comes under the single or double quotation so that's why i'm representing this with a double quotation and uh, this with a single quotation so both are possible here fine so your height is 250.5 cm so like this you have to use this one so any doubt in this float data type guys so next one will be the boolean so what is boolean what is boolean 
origin is greater than or smaller than or equal to something like that yes so it is like evaluating something and for that you will get a output call true or false either it will be a true or false so you have to evaluate something and at the end you will get a, a value i mean output as true or false so for that we have done we will use boolean so last demo class itself we have seen that uh, evaluation right one greater than 10 one less than 10 so we got true or false values okay so let me do that with our print statement how we can use print statement for this boolean so human equal to i'm saying true so print human so this is a basic one so it should it will always say true fine so we can check this type so print type of human so it is saying class bool fine so now the other printing method print are you a human so i can type human so again the type error so what should be done here What should be done here? Uh, type cast to string. Yes. So we need to type cat this one also in the print statement. Okay. So in the pre print statement, we are just type type casting this one, and then. I'm just running this one so now we got the value so it is a string value before it is a string value and human holding a boolean data type value so that's why we got an error now it is not like that okay we can hold it like this fine guys so any doubt in this boolean so this is the way uh, these are the ways we can use uh, our string and then integer float and boolean okay so coming to variable assignment so i told you what is variable first what is variable uh, it, it's a container which which can store different values yes so we can store different values and it will behave like what type of value it is holding okay and coming to variable assignment how uh, we can assign values to a variable okay variable assignment so here so variable sh name should always start with alphabet that is the rule okay so it should not have any underscore as well as it should not have any special characters so the name should always start with this one so we have a h c here we have full underscore name that is accepted and uh, here we got h1 h2 like that that is also accepted here uh, uh, only the alphabet that is also accepted but if you try to add like a underscore human okay let me tell you that see name error so this is not accepted and also special characters if i say star ash or something so see syntax error fine so if i use and so that is also not accepted so the a the variable name should always start with the alphabet so that is the rule for variables okay so like naming a variable so variable name should 
start with alphabet that is a to z a to z okay so this one please uh, keep this in your mind so while you are naming a variable is also very important so coming to this one so what are the ways we can assign a variable that is called giving value to a variable okay so watch so i am just taking watch equal to 500 rupees fine so i am just print watch so i will get watch value as 500 now okay uh, it is a basic one what we have done before so the next one is watch 1 equal to 500 and in the print statement what i am going to do is watch 1 minus 2.0 so this is also possible fine so see and also i can say like you are just seeing the possibilities what are the possibilities we can have here okay so watch uh, 2 equal to i can say 500 plus 550 so print watch 2 so that is also possible so these many ways you can assign value to a variable fine so we can do arithmetic operation also like watch 1 minus watch 2 and then uh, print watch 1 plus watch 2 and then I can say like let me copy this so multiplication division mod exponent like that we can keep on changing this one okay so multiply multiply by this divide by this exponent that is double slash and then percentage so that is mod so we can check this one so all these are possible here see so minus uh will be like minus 550 this one this one, multiplication division and a double exponent and then percentage okay so these many ways you can uh, handle your variable so one more thing this will be like watch 3 comma name sorry watch 3 comma name 2 because we already have name in the top right so i'm mentioning like name 2 equal to i will say name 3 because we already have name 1 and 2 okay fine so i will say 750 comma uh, let me say python fine so is it possible to do like this Till now we assigned only value for single variable. So is it possible like this? Guys tell me is it possible? What do you think about this? guys it is actually possible okay so the watch 3 will take this one 750 and uh, the second one will take the second value here so i can say print name 3 then i will just print running this one i got python here and then if i say print watch 3 so here what have happened is 
the first thing will take the first value and the second thing will take the second value if i change interchange this one okay like uh, i keep name there and then watch here okay so see name equal to 750 watch 3 equal to python so it is nothing but with the naming here okay so you uh, when you are seeing your brain will say name is actually a name but here the machine will consider as name should have the value of the first one watch should have the value of the second one so this is how it will react so any doubt in this guys so this is the basic thing how we can use our integer how we can use our variables how we can use a uh, float boolean and string so this is the very basic thing about this one any doubt in this guys so don't worry about this one these many things only we are going to combine in next classes so any doubt in this guys no ma'am for everyone it is okay Yes, okay guys so today's section is over so we can see you on tomorrow okay thank you take care bye yeah bye